Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how to manufacture the powdered carpet cleaner. It's a formulation that I'm going to give up. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, make sure that you subscribe. Smash that like button for me. Also consider dropping us a comment below. So what is it that I'm going to show you on this video? As I said, I'm going to give you uh, the formulation on how to manufacture the powdered carpet cleaner. We first going to state ingredients. From there, I'll show you in which sequence to mix them and the related amount of each. And also, they are very important and necessary details, okay? That will be explaining all along the video. What are the ingredients that you need for you to manufacture the powdered carpet cleaner? The ingredients are sodium tripolyphosphate, sodium sulfate, tetrasodium pyrophosphate, sodium autophosphate, and NP9, okay? You add NP9 only if you wish to produce a iPhone powdered carpet cleaner. That's it. Please note that it's advisable to make use of a plastic container while manufacturing this, okay? Now, let us consider making 100 kg of powdered carpet cleaner. Okay? Remember that we said that sodium tripolyphosphate should be 61% of the total mass. Okay, This is actually done by mass. So we need to consider 61 kg of sodium tripolyphosphate. That's it. The next ingredient, sodium sulfate. Okay, This should be 20% of the total mass. So we need to consider 20 kg of sodium sulfate. Okay? Remember that all these ingredients are powders, okay? So in terms of sequence, there's no really specific sequence, okay? You just put each and every ingredient uh, respective to its amount, then you can actually mix them together, okay? All these ingredients are powders except NP9. And remember that we only put NP9 if you wish to produce an iPhone powdered carpet cleaner. That's it. The next ingredient is tetra sodium pyrophosphate. This should be 8% of the total mass. Out of the 100 kg that we manufacture, we need to consider 8 kg of tetra sodium pyrophosphate. That's it. Then the next ingredient is sodium autophosphate. This should be 4% of the total mass. Out of the 100 kg that we manufacture, we need to consider 4 kg of sodium autophosphate. The next ingredient is MP9, okay? One more time, you can manufacture this without making use of MP9 as ingredient. You consider MP9 if you wish to produce a high foam powder carpet cleaner, okay? Uh, in terms you want to make use of MP9, MP9 should be 7% of the total mass, okay? Uh, then we need to consider about 7 liters of NP9 for the manufacturing of 100 kg of powdered carpet cleaner. That's it. By doing this, you actually obtain 100 kg okay, of powder carpet cleaner. Okay, that's it. And something else that you need to know in terms of uses, you need to consider using about 30 or 40 grams of powdered carpet cleaner that you need to add to 30 liters of warm water, especially when you're making use of the carpet steam cleaning machine. That's it. Thank you guys for watching, okay? Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. As we always say, there is a lot to learn from here. <laughs> We actually mean that and we don't even know how to express that. So make sure that you like our videos, share them, and also consider suggesting the channel to people you know with the interest of learning. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you subscribe and see you on the next video.